a lot of business owners struggle to create content on social media you struggle to grow your business on social media and social media is such an important part of growing any business social media it provides a free platform that you can use to reach millions of persons for your business several of those persons are your ideal clients today I'm going to walk through 10 different types of content that you can post on social media for your business so that you can stop worrying about oh my gosh what am I gonna post today but first ensure that you subscribe to my channel like this video share it with somebody else hi everyone welcome to another video with me I'm Felisa Ricketts Graham I'm a serial entrepreneur business startup and growth coach CEO and founder of Western STEM Academy CEO and founder of purpose find a club and pro linkage, pro linkage marketing and advertising agency I really love marketing I love marketing like marketing excites me I love helping business owners to grow I love helping business owners to tap into new audience and of course to create content and that's why I decided that I'm a own and marketing agency and a coaching agency that can help business owners like you to scale your business now over the past three years I've worked with over 3,000 business owners who have been able to make seven figure revenue for their business literally I've had clients who you know they were able to increase their revenue double their revenue triple their revenue and I'm talking seven figure revenue for my clients and that's what I want for you too so I'm going to go through 10 different types of content that you can use to grow your business on social media the first one is educational content educational content the 80 20 rule 80% everything else and only 20% promotional a lot of persons they only post 100% promotional content if you post 100% promotional content people are gonna be overwhelmed they're just gonna do what they do on YouTube skip ads and just skip your post your post won't be your page won't be entertaining it will look like a shop and I hate to break it to you but people are not on social media with their purses to say hey what am I gonna buy next no we're on social media to be ed educated and entertained so you have to post educational content teach person something in your industry find out which industry you're in and teach them you have to teach persons because when you teach them they realize that hey you know what you're talking about so even if it's clothing teach them about different things that go with different things um, educational content is not just for schools or tutoring companies so it doesn't matter even in marketing I have to teach my clients constantly if you're in skincare teach them how to take care of their skin so it's these educational content that persons are gonna save they're gonna remember you by this and they're always gonna come to your page to learn something new that's why we're on social media to learn and to laugh literally the two L's right so your educational content, you have to tap into that. And how can you create educational content? You can do this in videos. Short form videos are doing extremely well right now. You can do static posts. You can do your carousels. Carousels are really good for educational content as well as short form video anywhere between 15 to 60 seconds. Right? You can post these short form video content on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, and Facebook is not dead. YouTube, YouTube is such a powerful platform. I hope that all of you are tapping into YouTube, even LinkedIn, Twitter, all of these platforms, they support video, they support educational content. So post your educational content and there's nowhere else that we really go for educational content like especially our YouTube right so Instagram TikTok, YouTube all of the platforms you don't have to use all of them by the way you just need to identify the one that you're gonna be using and go for it educational content educate persons about your industry show them why they actually need you because some persons they need your help they need your services but they don't even know and that's where you come in by educating them about it right the the next type of content ensure that you save that that's educational content teaching person something so that they can know that you're a lead magnet and before 
before I go to the other one, don't worry that you're giving away the information for free because the more you give away is the more persons see you as a reputable person, as somebody who knows about this industry and will spend with you because people are looking for convenience. So yes, you're telling me, but I don't necessarily want to do it myself, but just by you telling me, I know, I now know that it is possible. Right? So educational content. The next type of content is inspirational. A lot of us are going through very tough times. Let me see your hand if you've never gone through a tough time. Put down your hand. You know you're not talking the truth. Right? All of us go through tough times and we want some inspiration. We want, you know, to be motivated and know that we can conquer, especially on a Monday when we get up and we don't want to do anything. Right? You're relating with me. You're feeling what I'm feeling. So you got to be inspirational. You have to empower your audience. Think about your ideal clients before you create any type of content. It has to be for your ideal clients. So what are some of the problems that your ideal clients are going through what type of inspiration do they need your inspiration doesn't have to be generic or the same lame ones that we hear every week even though some of the cliche ones really do hit sometimes and help you but you can create specific inspirational content based on your audience so if you're in skincare you can do some inspiration as it relates to the skin hair care um, clothing uh, all of those things coaching relationship coaching do some inspiration according to your business so your content is never random it's always in accordance to your business whatever products or services you provide that's very very important so inspire your audience inspire them to dream bigger inspire them to do more and by that inspiration they'll know know you they'll like you they'll trust you they'll feel like they care about you like people want to know that there are people who care you not you don't just want to take their money because people work so hard for their money and yes we know that we have to use the money for something but we want to know that you care and that's why customer service is such a big thing because when people are spending their money they want to know that you care you're not just taking my money because even though we know how that goes so you need to inspire persons you need persons to feel good about themselves you need to inspire them to make a change and you also need to inspire them to purchase because some persons they're not motivated they're fed up because they've tried so many um options and they do not work how can you inspire them how can you get them back into the game for them to even consider right buying from you a lot of you, you just want buy 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 no people are real people are going through challenges people are going through struggles people need a word and you got to use your business to speak that word into them and that is why social media marketing is so important you're not just running a business but you're running a movement it's an industry you have to care about the people who you are serving and it's the businesses that care about the people who they are serving who will do the best? Who will be more successful? I can tell you that because people connect with people who care. People know if you are genuine. Nothing is wrong if you just want money. Of course, you're in business to make money, but you have to care about your customers. And once you start caring about your customers, I promise you that your customers will feel that care and they'll care for you and they'll even share your business for free you will benefit so care about the people that you serve even though you want more customers even though you want more clients even if you have one client no care check up on that one client see how that client is doing ensure there's they're okay right i know i'm detracting a bit but i'm still on the matter of inspirational right and while i'm on this a lot of you have clients who you've served before, but you're focused on just getting new clients, getting new clients, and nothing is wrong, but it's so much easier to sell to persons who have bought from you already. Check in on them, see how they're doing. That is so, so important because you're also inspiring them, and by checking in on them, they could probably need a refill, they could need another service, but you're so focused on getting new clients that you forget that these ones exist. They've trusted you before, they bought from you, and let me tell you, it's so easier to allow them to buy again than to get more new ones, right? So you have to learn on learn to keep your customers happy and coming back that's something that I also teach now in addition to your inspirational content brand awareness you need to educate persons about your brand let persons know 
who you are, what it is that you serve, what your business is about, right? What your brand is about. You're not just a random brand. You have to tell persons. You're not just selling cake. You're not just selling cupcakes, ice cream, juice. You're not just selling book services, right? You have to educate persons about your brand. Brand awareness. What's your story? What's the story of this brand? How did this brand come about? How did you even develop your brand name? These are things that make for very good stories and storytelling in business is so, so important. So you have to get comfortable telling stories, telling stories that really connect to your audience. Believe me, it's the stories that sell your business. Right? In addition to your brand awareness content, you need your promotional content. I know all of you know this and this is what you love to do 100% of the time, but I want to change that. You're only doing 20% of this. You're gone are the days when you just post a boring flyer and that's it. No, you have to promote with videos. You have to promote with testimonials. You have to promote with real life situations, storytelling, all of those things. So your promotional content where you're selling, you have hard selling and you have your soft selling. You have different ways to sell, but promotional content, you can promote your product, tell persons, ask for the sale because I don't want you to get caught up in educating and in inspiring and giving brand awareness and never asking for the sale it is important to ask for the sale so for every 10 post two times you should be asking for the sale the other eight times you should be giving some inspiration you should be teaching so that when you finally ask for the sale there is no there is no no pause right you get that no promotional content very very important you promote on the platforms that you normally post your content and you try to get persons in you promote to persons who have bought they've already upselling important or you promote to persons who have not bought as yet Right. In addition to your promotional content, your testimonials will drive your promotional content too. Testimonials, that's really where persons share their experiences working with you. Right? You know, it's good to have them on video. A lot of persons don't know how to get testimonials. Incentivize these testimonials. Tell them that if they give you a testimonial, they get a discount. You know, ask for it. Like a lot of people, they understand the need for testimonials, but you don't ask. You have to ask and you will receive. So testimonials, ask for them. Ask for a video in the in the dress. Ask for a photo in the standal. Ask. Ask. Let them tell you no. Let them not follow through. And even if they don't follow through, you got to follow up. And that's a whole topic in business as well. Following up. Following up is so critical. It is so important. In addition to testimonial content, you need some behind the scenes. Yes, you need behind the scenes. You need persons to see what's going on, that you are real and what life is like, what it is like putting together the product, put together the service. Yeah, you need some behind the scenes. You don't want to just give them just the front but give them a little sneak peek make them see what go on wish i could give you a little behind the scenes but it's like after one when i'm videoing this it ain't early it's almost two o'clock <laughs> so you know what time it is it's bedtime so i can't give you much behind the scenes but what i try to do i try to include behind the scenes on my instagram on my stories especially do some behind the scenes let persons know that you're human you do the same thing that i do what's the process in terms of delivery show me on your journey to nuts forward right show me you preparing a package show me you getting ready for a coaching session if you're a coach show me you doing a facial doing hair doing nails show me show me right don't just tell me that you do it well but show me give me a little something now <laughs> you understand what i mean give me a little something right so you're behind the scenes your personal content people want to connect with the people or the person behind the brand not just the business every time so show me who is behind the brand so it's very similar to behind the scenes so show me the person behind the brand what drives you what is it like being you what's your motivation what's your day-to-day -day life like give me a full body picture one day of you being at an event and just telling me about life what life has been like if you have a you have children and you're comfortable sharing talk about the journey a picture of you hugging your child Those 
those things do very very well because people are able to relate these things are relatable so find something that your ideal clients they're able to relate to and relate it to your business and give a little personal you know a little personal touch personalize the business don't be afraid that oh i don't want to mix business with personal people are not buying from the business they're buying from you People are buying based on connection. So if you're able to connect, I promise you that your sales will increase up to 80% if you do that. Right? So that's your personal content. You have content for entertainment. A lot of people forget that we're on social media to <laughs> laugh yeah we're on social media to laugh to have a good time to be entertained life rough you know but sometimes we just want to bust a big laugh and no say so so entertain the people and give them look at something to laugh about that's why they follow all of these top pages side eye <laughs> No, and that's serious. No, that's why I follow these things because they're very entertaining. The mix up, the drama. I'm not saying that you need to be drawn into this, but you need to entertain. Give me a little love. You can't just bore into every time. You understand? You got to get real. You got to connect with the people. You got to find what the people find funny and give them a big old laugh. <laughs> right so connect with the people give them a laugh give them a joke you don't have to post original content all the time that's something that a lot of people don't know you can use your user generated content content from other pages you know like a funny joke where you see over that page you can borrow it but just give credits understand so yeah that's what you can do for your entertainment like i go on tiktok and i find so many entertaining videos I, po I repost some, some of them just laugh to myself, but you find them funny and you realize people stay longer with these. And I'm going to tell you why I recommend these. These ones will have higher engagement and with the higher engagement, the more persons engage with your content, it means that the app, YouTube, is going to share it. Well, not just YouTube, sorry. Even Instagram, TikTok, all of them. The more people engage with your content, it's the more the app organically share that piece of content or share your page to other persons who have not seen your post. So let's say that you have uh, a thousand followers. Typically, the app is going to share it to 20 people. If more people start to engage, they increase it to 50. More people engage, they increase it to 100. Otherwise, you'd have to pay for advertisement to get 100 to see it. But if a lot of people are engaging with it, you get free 100 people looking at your page. And then from looking at your page, they might say, Mama, look what your page is all about. Let me see what else is there. And by doing that, you're getting other persons to see the other types of content. You see what I mean? So you want content to build engagement. Your promotional content on the posters alone, they're going to have one and two likes. Nobody ain't have time for just your promotional content you have to be creative social media is all about creative and if you cannot be creative on your own it's time for you to add a book a coaching session with me or let me manage your page for you through my marketing agency pro linkage marketing and advertising agency what we do we create content for clients we post for you we manage your social media we manage your dms we manage your comments by responding to all of those we create amazing content for you we promote this content for you we post for you we help you to create an email list a lot of you don't have any email list we send out emails for you in addition to that we give you weekly insights monthly insights in addition to that we also do direct marketing where we carve out like a lead sheet of persons who you want to work with we do emails to these persons we call them we go on the road we do flyers we do posters we do billboards we do tv ads we do radio ads whole heap of something so we are a full house marketing agency if you want a photo shoot we're there if you need a video shoot we're there so we're all about creating content and releasing content for your business that will give you more visibility and give you more sales so that's pro linkage marketing and for more information send us a whatsapp message at 876 five eight five zero six four seven that's eight seven six five eight five zero six four seven or message us on instagram at pro linkage marketing 
So that's at Pro Linkage Marketing, P R O L I N K A G E M A R K E T I N G. Pro Linkage Marketing, repeating the number one final time, 876 585-0647. If you just need a consultation, you can also contact me. Our consultation session is free, and then we move from there. No commitment. Right? So that's your content for entertainment. The next one is engaging content. You have to create content that people will engage and interact with. You want to ask people this or that. Ask them to like this, ask them to rate this, ask them to comment. You have to create content that people will engage with. You can't just create a dry piece of content. Ask them if they like red or them like blue. Ask them if they like this or them like that. Ask them if they like rain or them like sun. And it's not gonna be random. It's gonna be based on your business. So let's say you're a travel agent. We manage a lot of travel agents on their pages. So do you like hotels or do you like cruises? Do you like the river or do you like the beach? These things are very direct, very straightforward. And you find that people interact with these content. And as I just mentioned, the more interaction and engagement that you have is the more the app is going to push your content out to people free organically, right? And who doesn't want that? hello right so content for engagement the other one that we have right here is shareable content you got to create content that people want to share there's nothing like a good piece of content that people love so much that they're gonna share and tag you and they're not gonna share your promotional content like that let me just be real with you so that's why I told you about all these 10 different types of content that you can post that people actually will share. Things that will really touch me. I'm going to say, wow, this is nice. See? I'm going to share this. All right? So just to review the types of content that you can post, educational content, inspirational content, brand awareness content, promotional content, testimonial content, behind the scenes content, personal content, entertaining content, engaging content, and shareable content. So I want you, if you found this as a shareable content that is educational, inspirational, <laughs> and what you a personality, give it a thumbs up and because it really helps. It really does. And I put a lot of effort into this. I must tell you, I'm going to be real. I put a lot of effort into this. It's 1.35. No, it's 1.44. No, yeah. AM. So like this video, comment below if you found it useful, share it with somebody else, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow out this channel. I've grown out Western STEM Academy past a thousand subscribers. So I am also in the business of helping persons to grow their channel, but I'm growing out this channel and I really want your help. Yes, I cannot do it alone. I need you. Yes, we need each other. So I'm going to be giving you some amazing content in terms of how you can grow on social media how you can get your business to profitability how you can get your business to comfortable generate seven figure profit and more because that's the goal for 2023 and beyond don't know which year you're going to watch this because that's the power of a youtube video the lifespan is powerful the videos i'm watching now are like three and four and seven and ten years old so I'm creating this content and I'm putting it out on YouTube. My name is Felisa Ricketts Graham. It's Felisa with a P, P-H-E-L-I-S-A, Felisa Ricketts Graham. I really love what I do. I'm passionate about marketing. I'm passionate about sales. I really, really love that, right? I own a school. My first company is Western STEM Academy. Second, Purpose Finder Club. Third, Pro Linkage Marketing and the advertising agency we just renamed right i love what i do and i want to bring you along this journey i want to help your business i want your business to experience some growth so go ahead and subscribe to this channel because this is the avenue to allow you to grow this is the avenue for you to experience that profitability that financial freedom that's passive income that you have been looking for you've struggled enough now is the time so you're gonna go forth and create content I'm going to do a video in terms of how you can create content and post it. You can use your Canva. 
you can use canva canva is a free tool just go into your app and download canva you can schedule the content in advance how often you should post i would say at least one time per day i'm serious don't post one time a week consistency is important and yes people will tell you four times a week two times a week i understand but my type of consistency is one time every day because the app is changing every day people get new content new people come on every day and you want them to be seeing your content i'm going to exactly 25 minutes and i'm going to end this video because it's been an amazing experience please subscribe share this video